At Quest Diagnostics, our part is to provide clarity and results in the face of uncertainty. We take that commitment to heart and are working tirelessly to deliver the answers and connections that will help us overcome this challenge together. Quest are meeting the urgent needs of hospitals and health systems for access to daily insights to COVID-19 lab volumes and trending data, all in one place with Quest Lab stewardship powered by HC1. Today, we bring together two of our medical experts on COVID-19, lab testing, reporting, and trending, what it means today and its impact for the future. So welcome Dr. Hilborn and Dr. Wong. Dr. Hilborn, what is the difference now with COVID-19 in the way we need to look at testing data results and trends? Well, thanks, Saren. Clearly, this is a fast-changing environment. It's a, we're dealing with a very infectious and contagious organisms. Clinicians need to know right away how to manage their patients. Laboratory data are critical to understanding those trends and how to plan for day-to-day -day patient management. Public health officials also need the data for clinical decision-making, which we'll talk about later. And the antibody tests are coming shortly. We need those to track data for many reasons. We need the data weekly, probably even more often. Uh, for individuals, when can they return to work? For first responders and healthcare workers, how much protection do they have? For public health, we need it to understand herd immunity and uh, understanding really who's been affected since many of these patients or many of us who have been potentially infected have been asymptomatic. We need to know the data by region, by gender, by age, and many other factors. And Dr. Wong, what are you seeing that's different now with COVID-19? So we're dealing with a disease, the likes of which we have not, never seen before. Every day we hear from our frontline ER physicians, critical care specialists, pulmonologists, and nurses that COVID-19 is acting like no other pathogen they have seen or experienced before. Accuracy, speed, trending of the data are the watchwords of the day. In addition, our, our providers need to see at one glance a scorecard that shows all the data so they can look at the results immediately, track the results and trend it. A report which is also flexible enough to include new items, new lab results. As an example, serum ferritin and lipase levels are now considered to be critical leading indicators. And we need to put those on the scorecard. And Dr. Hilborn, what answers do you need quickly on a daily basis to manage patient flow? Clearly, we need to know uh, who's infected. So we need to have the SARS-CoV-2 uh, molecular tests. We need to know who's been infected. So we need those antibody tests. Clearly, managing patients in the acute care settings, we need other markers, markers for acute infection, many of which uh, Wes was uh, just alluding to. We need to know about oxygenation, and we need general lab data because those are essential for managing all of our patients and how to judge acuity and plan for patient needs. And Dr. Wong, how are hospitals handling triaging of patients during this COVID-19 pandemic? Well, unfortunately, our hospitals are struggling, as we all know, with the surge of COVID patients in the face of limited dwindling resources. And on top of this, patients afflicted with COVID-19 are crashing faster than we've ever seen before. People are going, are going from being ill to being critically ill, not in days, but sometimes in hours and minutes. The earlier providers can see the critical data they need to tell about organ systems and physiologic parameters, the faster they can anticipate the needs of the patients, accurately describe what treatments they need, and even move them to a higher level of care they need to for respiratory difficulties. So the earlier we can look at the test results, the better our off our patients will be. In addition, this directly ties to resource allocation to make sure we use resources properly, be it test data, test results, be it lab results, or even provider manpower. And Dr. Hilborn, how do you feel hospitals are handling the triaging of patients during this COVID-19 pandemic? Well, certainly I agree uh, with Wes. Patients testing positive must be isolated and appropriate precautions taken. The data are critical for that purpose. The positivity rates and the numbers in hospitals uh, will help them plan for their resource needs and make arrangements with other facilities uh, when there's increased demand. Then we also need to understand about those individuals who test negative. Uh, it's important for us all to understand limitations of testing and hospitals and, and healthcare systems uh, must inform patients that they should still be managed in the, in the same way as if they had had no test at all. 
Great, thank you, Dr. Hilborn. And Dr. Wong, what testing insights will we wanna look at as we do emerge from this COVID-19? Well, Erin, as we see the flattening of the curve, we're gonna start entering the longitudinal phase of care, which as Lee has described, we need to look at terms of immunity, vaccination, even treatment effectiveness. With the right data, we can combat this and actually prepare better for the next potential wave or even for the next pathogen. Dr. Hilborn, what do you see testing insights that will be needed today as we emerge from this COVID-19? I think we need to know the positivity rates and the trends for the molecular test, for the acute care test, and the distribution of where those positive tests are occurring. Next, we'll need to be evaluating immunity uh, through testing uh, with the antibody to identify how much immunity there really is in our, uh, in our communities. We'll need to understand who is immune, their ethnic distribution, age, geographic location, and other factors that can help us plan for the future as we consider relaxing some of the restrictions that we've all been living with. Great, well, thank you so much, Dr. Hilborn. And in closing, I'd like to thank you both for your expertise on how real-time data insights and clinical practice can come together for not only our patients, but also our communities. Please visit questdiagnostics.com for upcoming conversations with our experts as we get through this pandemic together.